music we're starting. Cool. Oh, sweet. That was the first pick. Nice. I actually might have music on. This might be terrible. Nice. Terrible actually, is good. Actually, you know what? Um, no. All right, so... Are you, you okay to do first pick? Uh, okay. Yeah, heavy. Uh, so I'm going to basically take... Actually, I'm going to leave gang clicking. Gang, so I'm wow. trying to think of the pick. Higher, higher, higher. TS down. Uh, Jarvis Thunder Champion is playing. That seems to be very common. Actually, oh, I'm going to play Rumble. Rumble is hilarious. Uh, so let me ban out the gang flank. Dark and Terror Blade, your team. <laughs> good. Very good. Sell them the day on stream. Nice. Rumble, do it. I'm bad at looking alphabetically at yeah, names. Up. Right there. Sorry, you're moving around because I was being banned and stuff to the side. So. I'm not. Night Flash, Rumble the Jungle. Uh, Listen, of, the black no, I have a rumble page. I like that rumble. Right. Rumble. <laughs> rumble in the jungle. Alright then. Let's see, how are you taking your masters? I see that you take in the like spell nine, and pen, that makes sense. And then you go super tanky because rumble yeah. is super tanky. Let's actually put this here. So that my stuff yeah, really hello. can shotcast this. Hello. Shotcasting a game while it's happening. You have any and Caitlyn in the enemy team. That's uh, probably not so good. Although Rumble is not going to care that much, he can probably shield the worst. Uh, back up real quick. I got my pick, so right. Good. Yeah, you picked. Um, Freak, why you no play Timo? Uh, I am disappointed. Uh, All right. Um, uh, so let me just tell people, just FYI, this is being streamed to 13.8k viewers. Play well. Update, turn around is up. Turn around is up. Around. That's fine, we are gonna do this though. Okay. We started this. We are not gonna Q dodge in front of 30,000 people, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, I, I mean, told this, I told your game for your information, this is being streamed to 13.8k viewers. No, Sex Pineapple, Sex wants, pineapple to be your wants to be your friend. It's not creepy at all. Oh, actually, Summoner 1 changed change to Corky so that uh, Caitlyn is on our team after all. And there's an enemy, and wow, Mantheon and your summoner. I can look at that. Freak, somebody's playing as your forum avatar. Nice. That's nice. Wow, we have a Mantheon. What elo is this uh, This account, roughly? What would you say, Freak? Uh, I'm, at, I'm at like 1830. That's not right too now. bad. It's not too bad. It's not a account I play a lot, but it was um, one that had my name on it. Um, so, uh. Lace Runner playing a Tariq. Very nice. So we have on Team Freak, we have Rombo, Caitlyn, Anivia, Udyr, who is going to be in the jungle. That makes perfect sense. And Tariq. Tariq actually taking clairvoyance, so that is a good sign. On the team, we have Corky, Annie, Mantheon, Fiddlesticks. Amazing. And I was just going to say Soraka. Soraka. Damn yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should just accept some of these so people can no longer add you. Once you hit 300, they can no longer access Well, then they start showing up up here. Yeah, and they're going to send messages. Uh, they can't. If they're, if they're not in your friends... No, they but the ones that I've accepted will then start spamming. I see how it is. Yes. Uh, about that. Cool. So. All right. So, we have a super non-tanky team on the enemy side, actually. I'm happy about that, dude. I can kill so many yes, people. Yes, exactly. Oh, man, I'm going to be happy. You have Tarek, who will give you a, an ammo buff. You have Udyr, who can just run in and tank with his face. He's very good at face tanking. And, of course, you're going for Rumble in the jungle. And Vayne is still banned, so that's unfortunate for these guys. And Vayne is a oh, super bad. shoot. This is, this is full screen, so you guys are going to see this look really silly at the beginning. Yeah, sorry. Um, sorry about that. We'll fix it. We'll fix it in just a second. Okay, so right now you see that, which is a thing. Um, yeah, so you guys are going to see a black screen for a little while. I apologize for that, but um, you will see a black screen for a sh short time while the game loads. I'm sorry for that. The screen is, in fact, going to be... Actually, bright white is going to be... That's fine. I, I can change it. Okay, once again... Looks like League of Legends. That looks like League of Legends. And look at that, it's perfectly positioned as well. Rumble is going to start off with I don't know what because Freak is playing with the smallest possible HUD. Uh, it's 
Great. It's probably blue. Fifty potions. potions. There you go. You never ask. Welcome all right, all right, and there is the click, click spam already. The chat gonna be hidden because people are gonna say naughty things. Names <laughs> also like gonna it. be hidden uh, because people are gonna have naughty names. <laughs> no, I, well, like I said, I, I hate names automatically. I never play with names that are cluttered. No, we want a minimal, minimal uh, setup here for Freak to really perform as well as it possibly can. I'm going to turn the, the, the sound down because I think our mic sound is loud. Yep, uh, CV reviews the enemy team. They're setting up there to protect blue for fiddlesticks. Makes perfect sense. We are going to protect blue for Udia, I guess. Uh, Freak typing something in chat but not able to actually see. Asking answers. that we actually invade. Yeah. So we have clairvoyance. Uh, they do as well. So Rocket yes. might catch us. But the thing is we have, like, stu uh, we have uh, like three stuns plus Rumble and Caitlyn are really good AV damage dealers at early game. Yeah, yeah, and uh, this could be a very good uh, level 1 fight, especially with Tarek on your side. Tarek is just that number 1 champion for level 1 fight because of that stun. That if it hits at full range, it's going to stun for so long, even at level 1. There's the clairvoyance. Now they can move forward. Now and, he didn't, and he didn't rank down. We have an easy win. And he did not rank stun, actually. So there's the flash, there's the dazzle on Annie, and that is first blood on Annie right there. It's going to Udia. Not the best, but you know, this is first blood is first blood. This means they can easily take blue from the enemy team as well, and that's probably what they're going to be doing right now. Udia is hanging around, but it would make sense to give blue to one person on the team. Uh, there's blue spawning right now. Freak's going to aggro it because he is a tanky, tanky man. And there's a damage up with people down. So they will yeah, have to go there and fight them. So Freak can now rotate back into his proper lane. And this is going to be happy for him. And you know what I see, Freak? A you fiddle in the middle. middle. A fiddle in the middle and a middle with a fiddle. Oh, I can totally beat Jarvan in lane. He doesn't uh, have enough resistance. He can beat yeah, Jarvan in lane even though he's Pantheon. He can beat him so bad he turns <laughs> him into a different champion. That is pretty I can beat Pantheon in lane too. <laughs> okay, then. That's good. I, I was upscaling him. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, Jarvan has a way bigger spear, so I figured, oh, you know. Yeah, so you can beat him big spears and you can beat him small spears. Lots of free damage being done here by no. the I kind of screwed that one up. Yeah, he kind of screwed that up, he says. He's probably right. And wow, look at the damage he's taken there from Pantheon. Pantheon, stop this. Pantheon, stop actually defending yourself. What are you doing, dude? Maybe he's got some magic resist right off the bat there. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And wow, A lot of damage to Freak having to flash out of that. So he Pantheon definitely didn't do as much yeah, damage. Pantheon got that level up on him, so he does have a little bit more health, a little bit more resistance as he goes up in level, so... Freak's going to have to worry about that for a second. He is going to get two more minions here, get his level up. Everybody's to their laning phase now as Udir heads into the jungle with the first kill under his belt. Huge advantage to have that much money to start He's off with. Possibly getting your sword for the Madrids or already having your armor, obviously, to start it off. So oh, it's going to give him a nice jump. Even through the shield, and uh, there is the kill on Freak right now. No, no way. Stop, kid! Nice one. <laughs> Freak's very happy about this, as you can hear. <laughs> Why would you tower dive me? I have a shield. And I can level up. Yes. Is. The level up safety there, it has to be said. It has to be said. Without the level up, you would have been dog food. Oh, very very true, very true. But uh, I managed to survive that one. I totally planned that. I was baiting it. <laughs> I was totally baiting that kill. I totally had that all planned out. Yes. Um, Kids, this is what you call a lie. <laughs> this, this, is, this is me being... Yeah. Me, me almost dying to a random pantheon in lane. Yep. Um, that's pretty much what that was. Well, you don't, to be fair, you don't play against. Uh, when do you play against Pantheon these days? I, yeah, I underestimated him pretty heavily, to yeah. be honest. Yep, and he's going home, probably gonna build an uh, amplifying tom there into his first revolver. That's definitely what I would go for, but Crystal Scepter as a first item is also a good choice. It depends on how many team fights you foresee. And in the solo queue, I would probably be going for the spell band because the team fights are not gonna be there. And there is Pantheon again already jumping on Freak, and this is definitely a very, very dead rumble. One more spear toss and that oh wow, the shield just barely saving him there. Well done. Obviously planned. Whew. Obviously planned. Rivington, are you impressed? Because I'm pretty impressed. I was actually pretty impressive. I was gonna say Freak needs to get a flash out on this one, but he still has 140 seconds left. So I thought he was gonna take a spear to the mouth and go down, but he actually put up his little pineapple wall and saved himself well, pretty did well. You, did you know Freak can catch spears with his mouth? Well, yeah, on lane, it looks I like did. Udia is going in for a gang. We can't really look. We can actually look it up because we're running back and there's Nick's host against Udia, and they should be safe for now. Nice attempt though, Udia showing presence rather early. Probably didn't even pick up the red buff yet. Going into lane already. Corky's super scared. Has to use the phosphorus flash just to make sure that Udia is not waiting around for the bad surprise. All right, Pantheon only did. He only picked up boots. Um, I think he still runs faster than me, but uh, you still have W. Yeah, he didn't go um, for like utility spec or anything. So 
Alright, and we're back in lane right here, picking up a couple of last hits, and Panther needs to be careful and while that wave is up. I mean, yeah, uh, he can tank the wave for a little bit, but together with Rumble's damage, ooh, Rumble taking a Rumble tower take. shot, that was not necessary. Yeah. It's gonna be fine though, uh, Pantheon choosing to use his Q currently for last hitting, which is probably exactly what Rumble wants to do. Oh, oh barely missing that <laughs> taser there, second taser actually hits. The taser has a name, doesn't it? What Harpoon. Electro Harpoon. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can last it against the turret, I'm not going to harass him. I'm going to try to find their jungler. Uh, he's not a golem. At least I can clear the camps though, so we know when they respawn. Uh, it's not a bad thing to have, yep. so... Yep. Could, you could, uh, I did not use my shield well? to move very well. That's kind of silly. You do have a ward with you? Yeah, but I'm, I have to ward yeah, to defend myself. Yes, yes, yes. So Fiddle's nope. over there, Ooh. he's recalling. Yeah, he's not going to get there. This blue is, of course, down. Ooh, I'm going to ward... Uh, I'm, not worried, I'm not worried about him going in there, so yeah. I'm just going to ward up there. Yeah. Um, I'm warding so I can see if he comes from this brush over there. Uh, and of course I can see him come up, so as long as I'm paying attention, and since I have two casters who have better map awareness than me, <laughs> that word should actually keep me alive. But of course, Riven, we would never ever cast in such a way as to give freaking Oh no, you no ghosting here. No ghosting. No ghosting. Indeed. No ghosting. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the game the <laughs> Don't ghost your own stream. Alright, that's it. Playing pretty aggressive now, just getting in the face of Pantheon, making sure that Flame Spitter hits him every time, a little bit of damage done. And you can see Pantheon having to turn away each time there as well, just waiting for him to get in the range of the turret. So Freak's pretty sure that he's not just going to throw out that jump. Freak will be able to really get some damage done on him if he does. He is all silenced up now after he overheats. It's going to be a good amount of magic damage added to his uh, regular attack. So Pantheon doesn't want anything to do with that either. Did Pantheon burn Flash already? Uh, we are not sure if Pantheon burn Flash. Oh, there are pings. Apparently the Fiddlesticks is there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. Pings. Nice teamwork there. Thank you, team. You just saved Freak in front of... No, I said Fiddlesticks was there. Because they beat. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. because of your team. Stop so ghosting your own game. Stop ghosting your team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ghosting the team now. Yeah. This current game knowledge is too OP. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Fiddlesticks is probably on the goals. He might be done with it by now, but he has no blue, so it might slow him down. I, I won a game against a random team once. It happened once, and they said it's unfair that Riot members are playing the game. Because clearly we have an advantage. Ping. No, we play the game. Skill. Oh. I mean, you don't have a ping advantage from the Dublin office, I'm afraid. Not at all. Rather, <laughs> you opposite. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, ooh. That Electra put very hard to hit. Actually, very big hitbox on that missile. Uh, the second shot hit, so it's all good. Freak missing all a little bit of uh, missing a little bit of last hit near, near the tower. Has to be a bit careful. Can't really get to those range creeps there. Trying to get the electric harpoon for that last hit. No, he's actually running in with the shield up, so he should be fine. Let's uh, let's actually turn the tables here and point out every single last hit that Freak misses. So far, he's getting them. Very good, getting low now. Pantheon could jump Freak. No, just tosses a spear, is gonna be good. But this one is gonna be difficult now. Too close to the tower for Freak to walk up and hit it. Let's see what he can do there. And he's going to miss a last hit over there. Yes. No! no! <laughs> he last hits with his ultimate actually. And wow, Pantheon burning flash for not quite sure what reason. Oh, that's a harpoon. Yeah, yeah, he was hit by Harpoon, I guess, then. Freak missing a last hit there. It's game over, guys. You can pretty stop watching. Yeah, Freak probably wants to look at his own screen, but there is a nice fight going on here in the Ooh. forest. Probably not going to end up in any kills quite yet, and uh, the team has to see the minimap is retreating again. And once again, if you're playing this game, you should be looking at the minimap more often than your yeah, actual sure. screen. More often than I am. Yes, that as well. So, play I see Pantheon hit uh, at 7, both of you guys. He has a little bit more health. Uh, tell us about the runes that you're running right now for Rumble. Uh, so I'm running... Oh, I missed the last hit. I'm running flat AP <laughs> quints and flat AP glyphs, um, magic pen reds, and flat armor yellows. Generally, I've found that solo top almost always ends up being AD. So so generally what I see, like, so Triesco, what he likes to do is actually run... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, brain farting, sorry. He runs um, flat armor yellows, uh, health quints, and then MR on red and blue. Uh, he just goes, like, full tanky man. But every every one I've seen solo top in solo queue, um, right, it, it's not that that top E meta with double mage. It's always like a Pantheon or a Jarvan or an Aurelia, um, sometimes even a different AD. Um, and so I've never found any use for MR. Like my last five times I played Rumble, I'm like, oh, I'm fighting against Jarvan again, right. and, and over and over. Sometimes even a gangplank. Um, so I found that like, why why am I bothering you know to pick up magic because if it doesn't do anything for me except maybe that new new gang that's popped right through. Instead, I can spawn with like 24 magic, uh, 24 AP.
HP, and that's going to actually add like 30 damage to my flames better overall. Ooh. And that's actually a ton. That, that's a huge. That's a huge yeah. increase. So uh, it gives me a much better chance of. Building. Oh, call, call, call! Coming on the bushes right there. Ignite going down, and that is definitely a very, very dead rumble. While we were talking, the ward had expired in the river there, and you do not expect the fiddle to jump on you like that. Yeah, I deserved it. Nice play. I should have bought a new ward when I was down there. I had enough money for it and just didn't. That was just a stupid mistake. Mm. Well, you were also entertaining us with. Uh, it's good to know, though, that the team has to use everything in their power that they yes. have of their abilities yes. to take you out. It kind of makes you feel confident about being able to go in lane, uh, let you know where you can push. And uh, it lets you know that your lane doesn't feel confident about taking you alone. So you can definitely still continue to be aggressive on that. They're Corky and Annie last hitting really well, though. It's, it's a little bit scary for me. Here's some pretty good damage from Caitlyn and Tarek, though, getting him kind of low. Uh, looks like no. Oh, Caitlyn the man drop! And there is a stun on Tarek. Tarek has the other one. He's oh. going to heal. That was, that was the last no, person. Oh, oh he's Corky got a minute. Oh, oh, oh no. Caitlyn could have gotten that kill. Caitlyn could have gotten that kill. Corky yeah, definitely. Okay. Man, Caitlyn. Letting down the side. Oh, well. Uh, our score's not too bad though, I think it's 3-2. to two. Uh, I'm 1-1-1, yep. one, one, and one. it's not too bad three either. 3-2, to 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm okay with that. No turrets to no turrets. Okay, you last hit minions for now. That's good. I should what, ward pretty what soon. What should learn, this is how you last hit minions. So Freak, why do you spam move commands instead of uh, pressing stop to Force of habit, honestly. Yeah. Um, I think it keeps you warmed up as well. Keeps you warmed up. It's almost uh, like actions per minute in CSC. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it keeps you warm. Also, um, occasionally, like, it, it's a repositioning type thing where you always want to be sort of, like, behind the mini wave against, like, a skill shot champion. Oh, that was really terrible. <laughs> 36 gold down the drain. Ooh, there's Pamelian again, and he will look for trouble right now. He will feel very, very confident, especially with Fiddlesticks right next to him. If Fiddlesticks can get in range for the Fiddlesticks, it's going to get very dangerous, but very nice ulti there from Rambo, keeping him safe. Well played. He's not taking any damage though. I think he like. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got some damage. MR. He bought only Dorans, but yeah, he's got MR. He's got a lot of HP. Yeah. It's just his levels. I don't know. Yeah. That's weird. He's doing well. I'm gonna have some magic pen right. on the book, but of course I have to be extremely afraid of fiddle. He can crush him over the wall at this point. So I'm gonna have to actually just play completely defensive. Um, and you're informing your team of that fact. Yeah, I'm asking you for a game top, possibly. I can't really last hit here, I have to be afraid of fiddle. Gonna, I don't even want to fake check the brush, because if he fears me, I'd have a crow storm. Yeah. And there's the crow storm, there's yeah, the fear, the and there's the train. You may get out of range of the stun, and is he gonna jump in? He's he gonna follow you! I will dive you and kill you easily, and there's the jump, and there's the He did kill. way too much damage, yeah. That was yeah. stupid of me. And if he's coming up though, maybe we can get this kill onto Pantheon. That's gonna be the E. The Q will land. It will not quite be in the range of that slow though. The eyes off. And yeah, it's gonna be Phil doing too much damage. So yeah, mm. as I said, Fiddle was waiting in the brush and I mm. just played stupidly. I should have gotten I should have just completed Brick Dreads first, and that would help me survive a little bit better. And, and Fiddle is um, actually is not jungling, is he? No. He is. Is he he? My, yeah, he just, we stole his blue, so we had to back off for a while. Ah, that's why he was in mid. Well yeah, he was going. He is yeah. You yeah. stole his blue twice. So he's not in the middle. Uh, he sometimes is. I'm playing actually really poorly though. I shouldn't be dying quite as much as I have been. Maybe uh, you should leave the commentating up close. The and there's the defensive tibbers. That's always good. You don't want that to be added. And he actually chasing. Not a good idea. He has a Nibia to flash in, and that's a kill right good there. Job, good job, Cumus. This is Paki. I recognize that name. I played him before. Guess that's a Korean player. Cool. Whenever I hear names like Park Ye Hoon, I'm sure uh, I'm asking myself, what's their Starcraft thing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> So we got four to three, trading one for one there in the kills. Everybody just back to the laning phase now. Pantheon just in the river below Rumble. Looks like he could come up for a little bit of a damage deal here, but it looks like he is holding off, and he goes back around towards his own side there, just getting a spear through, kind of breaking down the shield of Rumble right now. You can see Pantheon is 10. Quite a bit of HP, three Doran's Blades under the belt. That's really going to help him out a lot. And uh, he's you know, just going to be able to be a, a little bit better in the laning phase right now. You know now. why the Doran's Blades will help even more? In his hands. Rather than under his back. Yeah. <laughs> You're so hilarious. I am uh, amazing at this. I don't know why I'm not doing this for a living. I'm actually, I am. I am. So, probably are now very, very confident, must be. But uh, whenever Fiddle is anywhere near, we expect to see aggression from Pamdi jumping in for just a good combo that the combo doesn't quite land. And very nice play here, but realizes that all uh, cooldowns are down on Pamdi, so he can go back and do some damage in return, but will have to. Boopil now. We don't know if Fiddle has Fiddle has uh, ganked this lane successfully a couple of times, so you will probably want to report the report for performance. But there is Udia. We could be waiting in the bushes here for Fiddle. Yeah, let's let's wait. Let's see if he's there. 
Or we could wait for Pandya to go further ahead, further ahead, and there is the bear stance coming in. Let's see if we can land the double slow on him. There is the ultimate, but he's going out of the ultimate immediately. Lots of damage being done on him there. Freak had uh, aggro, very, very well done, getting out of tower range, letting Uya finish the job. Yeah, and good job that you. is going to feel very good now for top lane. You are getting back to this game, Freak. Don't worry, you're not going to cheat. Really something they needed to do there, show dominance in the top lane. It's been Fiddle pretty much coming up top. Udir really hasn't been able to give him too much assistance. He's been helping down bottom with Annie and whatnot. And there he is, coming out of nowhere as Fiddlesticks. He's going to get the drain on. Oh, Udir going in for the bear stun to try and stop it. Not enough time. Freak was just a little too far past, trying to hide himself behind getting clicked on. But the AoE of Fiddle... Pretty much just uh, negated I, the I fact that he right needed to be left. clicked. So, yeah. yeah, he he was right here, crowstorming, and I was out of range of the crowstorm, and I ran left to try to get away. But if I could have like, because I can run faster than fiddlesticks, my base move speed's a lot higher. Um, and even though his utility spec, yeah, three ninety one move speed, I have uh, three ninety, so I run about as fast. Oh, oh by you, dear. Uh, but plus, I also have scrap shield, so I could have just run to the right uh, through the minion line, the, through the minion line. And been fine. Um, it just got completely away. But actually, Udyr wow. taking it out. Good play from Tumors, I believe, on Udyr. Thanks, Turtle. <laughs> yes, thanks, Turtle. Part thanks of the Turtle Bear. Club. <laughs> Thank you, animals of the forest. So I have a lot of players. I have a lot of a lot of champions to come and start playing again. I want to play Udyr again. I got to play Scion again. Yeah. Yeah. I actually been playing a lot of Olaf in the jungle. It's oh, it's that's quite good. fun. Olaf is this I time love long. Olaf. If you get to 45 minutes, you win games. Oh yeah, and I especially love it when people are like, "Oh, I'm getting him lower and lower," but you're like, "Wait, I'm stealing more health because that's my passive." Oh, very nice exchange even there. Kit faster for Pantheon, and this is actually yeah. Oh, I aimed like a noob. Yes, a oh. freak aimed like a noob. <laughs> you heard, you heard it here. You heard I it here. Had that kill. I'm playing so terribly. Oh my gosh, this is very embarrassing. Uh, let's see what happens when we go into team fights where your champion is going to be a lot stronger. Annie, don't stick around. She's going to rebirth and just kill you. But oh, the fear beautifully timed there. Wow. Good, good well done by play that. from Born Slippy. Those are all the and he actually did get the kill on Annie still. Wow. Minions helped a little bit, I think. Cool. It's just one of those cool, calm, and collected moments. You're like, why are you standing next to me? And you realize, oh, it's probably because somebody's coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good team play there, absolutely. Yeah, so silly play for me. I'm like, I have like three, four deaths, and I'm one, four, four two. One that's four. really sad. That's that's really poor play. Um, all of them could have been pretty much avoided. I'm just like playing two Rambo. Rambo. Let's see. We look at Pantheon. 61, 81 minions. Pretty good. I'm at 78. Level 12. He's actually yeah. My ult comes back up. I could do some good damage there. I'm surprised I'm not doing enough damage, even though he's not on my MR. So if you're just joining us. Um, while we're working on some problems for the tournament realm, we are having Freak play a solo rank game on uh, North America Live right now, and he is teaching us all how to feed with Rumble at this moment. Pretty yep. much. I'm pretty good at, at teaching it, though. You can his face check brushes all day. And, That's a good uh, first step. You keep charging it in you know, Pantheon until he kills you. So now, seeing the Freaks has pushed his lane, he's going to start heading down towards Annie here. Might try to mess with Fiddlesticks in the jungle. Can he get the Harpoon to go through the first time? And he does hit, and the second one hits. Both blind shots from behind the back. That second one able to hit uh, Fiddlesticks and take him really out of the fight that's happening now in a 3v1 in mid. Fiddle again coming around the side. He's going to go for the fear, and as you can just see, not a lot of damage going down. Rumble starting to become very tanky. Freak getting in a position that he wants to. Definitely going to be able to uh, get in a fight and be soloed out a few times, take some cooldowns and get out and uh, really allow his team to do a lot of damage here. And Nivea is going to be a big one on that. He can stand behind the wall of Rumble's defense and really do a lot of her uh, critical magic, magic damage after frosting somebody up. Bottom lane getting a little bit of attraction as Freak returns to his. And right now the upper hand really going to uh, Freak's team here. They have a turret down for some global gold. No dragons yet. And it just seems like uh, at 6-6 six and six, their team really has control of a lot of their lanes and is doing a pretty good job of roaming and assisting other lanes as well. That's the beautiful thing about Rumble, you don't have mana, you can just spam your abilities in lane all day. That makes last hitting so very, very easy when you're not being harassed, when the enemy champion is not there. So free farm on Rumble is super free from Pantheon jumping in, feeling super confident, feeling lucky actually. There is beautiful ult, but forcing him to run through a lot of the ult, but oh, guess oh who's no! there? It's the fi fiddle from the middle, and yeah. M nice step, Pantheon turning around, oh, he actually Freak trying to go for the kill. Not enough. Yeah, he stunned me in time, and I wasn't even facing the right way. The, the flame spinner was not hitting him. Um, Eater comes by. Good job by Fiddle getting into that brush so early. 
Yeah, um, I don't know. Where, where was he coming from? He probably just he came up, up around the, the back. The yep. was pushed down, so he came up from the turret and just locked in that brush and just waited. Yeah, you should be careful. Whenever Pantin is this aggressive, he usually means that there's a fiddle around and he's yeah. going to call, call, call you. Not even call, 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 call close to getting it, honestly, but, um, yeah, we'll play by that. Yep, good play there from Pantheon and Fiddle, who are basically teaming up top lane, taking all the kills. Yeah, he's like, dude, it's Freak up here, I need you, I need you to assist Dude, dude it's a Freak kill. Ha! Oh, oh, you made a funny. I made a funny. Out of your name, too. TG, and he was going to be donated blue buff, though. That's going to be pretty good for them. I'm going to keep spamming uh, Scrap Shuttles to get back in the lane. Oh, they want me to come out for Dragon? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, as soon as Anivia picks up that blue, you are going to be in a very good position to fight that Dragon. Your ultimate, unfortunately, is not going to be... Uh, it's actually going to be up in time. How many seconds is that on your ultimate right now? Five. Yeah, it's going to be up in time. Very good. So, you want that. If there's a real team fight in the entire enemy Nivea. team, you want the Rumble ultimate, obviously. Yeah. Now they're setting up a pink ward, so they're quite sure that at least the enemy did not uh, ward in a normal position. And uh, Rumble needs to be careful right now not to get uh, jumped on because he's not that tanky quite yet. And they are doing a very good job zoning the enemy team here, making sure that your team can pick up dra Dragon very, very quickly. And Nivea obviously wants to keep her cooldowns up in case somebody comes up. And there is a nice damage there. I saw an E flying, so that would have been good damage on Fiddlesticks right there. And your team just picked up a Dragon, uncontested. That was very and Nivea actually waiting in the bush, wow. saying, Team, come yeah, here, let's wallet. get them. But, ah, uh, no, they're not coming. And uh, Pantheon pushing top turret, actually doing some free damage to top turret. If he picks up top turret, well, probably still was worth getting a dragon. I think turrets worth more than a dragon right now. We're also getting to free from the rest of the map. We're also going to get a push in mid, potentially. So we're going to have to back off a little bit, be afraid of this, do a little bit of damage to any Pantheon. Look at that turret for himself, so... Yang Fu Shang. Uh, you got a fiddlesticks right there. Cool. Don't help him. You should recall. Okay. We can probably get the top turret back for this. Yeah, Pantheon is probably recalling right now by himself, unless he's still in that bush, in which no, case he, he is in bad shape. Right. Yeah, he recalled. Okay, so you can actually now take the turret. He should not be face-taking it, though. There's the minions. <laughs> Very good. Anivia, please stay around and help with the turret. Come on, Anivia, be good. Yep. Just checking in, just checking the bushes. That's all right. She's going to use the auto to clear that real pick. She has the blue buff on her still. And actually some aggro there, but there's a sex wave coming in. And oh, there's Pantheon. And call, call, you are all dead. Oh, wow, maybe doing oh, enough wow. damage to pick him up, and will actually. I, j I was totally, nice. that was totally intentional. I baited for it. Mm -hmm. Although we're still gonna lose that person. Um, so now that I have Brylis, I'm basically just gonna play a lot more defensively now. Um, I honestly just needed to farm that up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the spell vamp now. Yeah, that is a very good move. And if you build that to Will of the Angels, I think Anivia is going to be very, very happy. Yeah, I'm funny rushing Will of the Angels. That would be kind of ridiculous, yeah. That is kind of one thing that you can do when you're not doing that well yourself. Think about what can you do in your build to help your teammates that are doing well. And yeah. is doing quite well. Yeah. So one thing that's kind of funny also is, um, right now, if Eski were watching, he'd just be telling me, like, see, if you're on the MR book, you'd be fine. And I would gradually <laughs> say, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting myself caught way too much. Um, ultimately, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not worried enough to watch for fiddlesticks, and I just keep getting jumped on. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really like misplaying the lane as far as that board. Have goes. you, have you died once without fiddle involved? I think uh, one pantheon kill that was without. Fiddle yeah, but that was but after a pantheon fiddle fight. Yeah. He actually chased him into the tower right. range. So it's basically all fiddle. And fiddle doing a yeah. really, really good job for his team here. I have to say, I mean, he's just playing it right. He is helping as much as he can, and he is uh, getting himself into a very, very scary position because a fiddle. Let me tell you, a fiddle without kills and without farm is the least scary thing in the world. But once that fiddle gets some farm, he scales really beautifully, and he will be very, very powerful in team fights. Yeah. I'm going to keep pushing on these minis. Also, one good thing about me dying so much is that I'm not worth a lot of gold. <laughs> so, I mean, even though I'm, you know, dying a ton, I'm not feeding them too heavily. My, my, my feed is minor. Yes. Thus, uh, totally shouldn't be worried about feeding, even though I'm failing super hard. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to group up with the team now. We didn't get the top turret. I won't be able to really stay here. Maybe with Red Buff can chase me forever, so I'm not going to try. Looks like they're uh, trying to take out Corky, but the CV gives it away. Yep. Oh shit! I'm gonna try to ha harass him out here and getting a little bit of a drain down from Fiddle, and he will be pushed off of this one in the bear mode. They go for the ultimate. It looks like he is gonna be slowed in that position. They should be able to take him out here. Tons of damage coming out, and a very nice ultimate 
That is the equalizer, I believe, coming out of oh. the hands of Rumble. And they did exactly just that. Right to the bush. Fiddle was not able to get away. It slows you. Plus, Ryla is a little bit of stackage on the slow. And Fiddle was not going anywhere as Pantheon continues the free farm top. Not really assisting his team, but he can globally jump anywhere he wants to. Yeah. So we really don't want to... Yep. Like. Really don't want to let him do what he wants or what he can in uh, any lane that he wants, so... They have to kind of uh, disappear here. He actually has just jumped bottom onto Anivia, Tarek, and Caitlyn. I wonder if he knows he has done this. He does take one stun from the Dazzle, but it is going to be a shield blocking a lot of this, and he's able to take down Anivia. She falls as they head down to the turret. Now a 3v1 situation down there as Pantheon, Corky, and Soraka all gather together. Uh, Freak still up top, trying to farm away, keeping that split push off. And it looks like mid's going to take some damage. Udir should be able to get there and stop this one. Tarek and Caitlyn have to be very careful right now. There's a lot of long-range poke, right not a lot of heal. There it is, the Heartseeker Strike coming out. The Ignite on the Tarek. They are still chasing down Caitlyn, and it looks like he may be able to find her. It's going to be a cooldown on his jump, so I don't think he will be able to stun her. Yep, and he yes, will. he does one more time, proccing crits on a lot of those Heartseeker Strikes. And that was two easy kills for a tower dive down bottom. It's now 9-12 to 12 as they start to lose grip a little bit. They are going to lose a turret here. That will be their second one to the opposing team. Freak's going to get one for it as well, so not too bad. Some global gold. Fiddle coming out of nowhere. Freak can get out of this and shield up. But there is the turret. You got the minions, The too. minions wiped, so the turret instantly aggroed to Freak. Yeah, I'm probably got that. I guess I should have known he could get that quickly. Fiddle was never bottom. Uh, recklessly pushing, got picked up. Um, yeah, really not my game. I'm going to get made fun of a lot for this. <laughs> I'm going to get made fun of a lot for this. I'm playing really, really poorly. Seven deaths is really sad. It really is pretty sad. Um, yeah, at least I'm not worth a lot of gold. Udyr did pick up that kill, not me. So Fiddle got probably like 20 gold for that kill. Um, he's higher level than me too, so not a ton of experience picked up. I mean, yeah, this is all sorts of reasons why I'm totally not feeding. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I am, but... Right, right. So I have the spell vamp now, um, staying top. I have broken 100 minis by now. 120 is not too bad, although we have like 200 something on Anivia, so um, clearly not the highest in the game by any means. I actually wasn't CSing that well. Uh, Pantheon at 140 is above me. Uh, yeah, ultimately not being a big help to my team. Um, it's just it's a true statement. Um, I'll get that spell vamp book up. That'll help Anivia quite a lot. Um, then Ravens will give me a lot of damage. They can just stack MR. This entire team is pretty much like stack MR. Uh, Pan you know, Pantheon does some damage. They don't have a big tank, so. Their only initiate is like Hope Fiddle Six Crow Storm as well, and then the team has to you know run from it. Um, so late game, I can honestly we get the ability to poke them a little bit. Um, they have to sort of just like heavily initiate. Like if they initiate, they have to commit. And they don't have the ability of, like someone who can like poke or anything. Mm -hmm. So um, they have a good chance to do this. Looks like they're converging down bot on the blue. He is going to be able to get this tower up top. Pantheon there, a lot of HP on the side of Pantheon, about seventeen hundred probably. And we'll have to see how this fares out. Actually, more than that, about 2,000-something, because you have 2,000 health. 2,100 on Rumble. They're going to be focusing down. Looks like Corky could go down here, just missing the Caliber Net. Uh, but he is able to get a double stun on, and it goes on to one of them. So much damage coming from the hands of Anivia right now. Udyr trying to get by, but the wall is just going to stop anything that's going down there. Pantheon still left alone up top, getting ready to jump if he wants to. If they should, they should bring the fight up from Dragon. Towards Rumble to help the team out. So, yeah, let's see. Like, if I go down, they, they know. Oh, right. too late. Gotta go. I wanted, I wanted to sort of bait it and not have them know for sure. Pantheon jump. Down. Fiddle goes down. This could be a very different fight here. And it's going to be Udyr that Pantheon jumps on. Not really going to help him out too much. Looks like uh, Pantheon going for the dragon, but he is not going to be able to get it. Both of them go down. A third goes down. A nice shot from Caitlyn over the wall. Taking down a Valkyrie. A Soda Pizop. Corky. And Soraka left to go, I believe, with the W. She can make it. She is forced to flash right away. Can he get the harpoon on? Don't believe he has the ultimate still. And there will be some good damage there. A second time for some damage. And the flame spitter to just absolutely melt down that Soraka. Very nice job by Freak, knowing his character's capabilities. Should be able to make now. it through with three shots from the turret. Two as he was on the right side. And uh, very nice job. Will the Ancients to come in. A lot of assistance to the team with AP Spell Vamp. And that nice aura. And some ability power, which is going to be really nice for Anivia. It'll be nice for uh, Phoenix Mode, for Udir, and anybody else like Tarek that's going to be throwing out some heals. So uh, a big fight for the team right there. Able to shut down Fiddle first. A good amount of focus really showed in the team fight. It's actually a little bit close. Because oh. uh, the mic's like super boosted. I try to make it work. Like, oh. Riz, Riz's mic is really out compared to everyone else's mic. Just, <laughs> you're actually just closest to it. Um, unfortunately, kind of a low-tech streaming solution here. We actually have kept most of the viewers. 
So just we have 15,000 people watching me feed. Indeed. That's good. Um, we actually gained 2,000 to watch you feed. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad me feeding is uh, quite the spectator sport. Wow, I missed every single minion, too. I'm so bad at this game right now. I blame not being on my home setup um, in, in any way. Yeah, I didn't set up my I didn't set up my 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 key bindings. Um, I totally had shut up. All right, I might actually get the turret without getting crow stormed. I think it could happen. Oh no, wow! Hit the turret. You, sh you could be all right. No. Oh, so much slow. He's he was like stuck. He's like I'm stunned actually. I'm stunned from no stuns at all. Yeah, so you got, you got some <laughs> candy. I got, I got ripped. I did get the turret, though. Unfortunately, I did pick up a kill on that Soraka, so I was worth 300 gold again. I was worth, like, 18, but now 300 gold, so that's me being a bad. Um, we shall see. Soraka being found, who dear bear mode, wants to get a claw on her, but nothing going down there. I can build ages for my team. Just, I'm just gonna build Ulrus. I'm honestly like, I'm not gonna scale up the rest of this game. I should really just build uh, defensively, stay alive in these fights on my team. I'm not gonna get rabbit in any, in any reasonable amount of time. Um, so I'm gonna edit that build out a little bit. Go Aegis. Uh, I can keep stacking Ors. I can go Abyssal Scepter as well. These are all actually items that are pretty good for me. Um, you actually have, have a good people. amount of damage. So yeah, you could definitely go for a supporty defensive type and allow everybody to focus people down. Yeah, and I, I have a ton of CC with this Rylas. Being able to get in there and use the Rylas is pretty useful. Um, I actually have 100 of, of both resists now, 105, 109, that's not too bad. Abyssal Scepter may not be the worst idea in the world either. Yeah, he's going, so he's, oh, he's going tanky now, he hasn't been really doing a lot of damage. I mean, Flame Spitter will be nice, I'll allow Caitlyn to do a lot of damage, and if people start focusing her, you can focus everybody with Flame Spitter that's going at her. That's because good. Because you're, you're usually in front of her, you just have to turn around and start burning everybody up. So it'll be good, he's going to go for a lot of auras and a lot of supporty. Good. Yeah, good. I'm going to go Aegis and Missile. Yep. Be decent. That makes sense. Actually, they got the dragon, by the way, because the marker is there, so that means they got the kill. Mm. Yep. So, sad face, lost dragon. And, by the way, warning, 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 warning. Yes. Bumble says. Just let you know. That is the chorus Doing of Doing pretty good. 100 per punch right now. And then you got magic damage. You're like 115, 120. Yep. So, the team's headed up the map. I am, of course, nowhere near because I'm not paying attention. Oh wow! Uh, Pantheon might get caught. Actually, looks like he's gonna have to flash. Nice. Smart of him to do so. Mid lane, I can see he's been pushed already, and all oh, there's the entire team top. You should be getting in position to help your Fiddles team. Fiddles in the bush. Actually, in the bush there, and you could probably catch her. Now she flashes across the wall. Good flash from Red her there. Gone. But Fiddle is setting up for a call, call, call. Yeah. I can, I can taste it. And with the recent change, giving him a half a second less to. to uh, Half a second less wind up time before it. Oh, there comes a dazzle in on, and he doesn't quite get in range, unfortunately. Maybe a quick uh, stun. The, the Anivia stun with. There he is. Fiddle focused there is out. Fiddle, fiddle. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. No? Uh, fiddle uh, takes uh, the full ulti from Rumble there, gets blown up in no time by Anivia as well. Uh, Pantheon chased out of the fight zone, and oh, a very, very nice <laughs> wall on Annie. She will have to die there. Very good, but good damage from Caitlyn now on uh, onto Rumble. Uh, that was a little bit too far off the bush, and you actually got Corky, the side from Corky, not from Caitlyn, of course. Um, very, very nice kill with the Flame Spitter. And that should be at least one tower, maybe a second tower even. Yep. Uh, all a little bit low at this moment, but Tarek can, of course, hit yeah. him up. There's just a Pantheon to defend, as far as I can tell. So that was a very good fight. Very, very nice opening from Rumble there with his ultimate, basically forcing the enemy team to decide are we going to fight this or not? And uh, both decisions would have been wrong. That's the kind of decision, the kind of question you want to ask your enemy team. And both their answers are wrong. Yes, that's good. I like that. And that's an inep going down right there. That should be a team withdrawing as well. Yeah. And it's go looking very, very good for Team yeah. Blue here right now. That worked out really well. The, they're really the opposing team. Obviously, the freak isn't on. It's relying on the, the forest a lot. A lot of their fights have come out. And either 2v1 situations or 3v1 situations when they have bush advantage and you don't have sight of the entire team. We saw that Fiddle was dazzled right out of the fight in the beginning there. They were all caught scattering and it went down instantly. Annie was focused up next. That's Tibbers. That's a lot of damage. She can throw out a yep. cone as well. You don't want that as well as her stun utility that comes up quite often when she's casting from her passive. So those two were focused right out. They were able to find where the damage needed to be done. Corky was also chased out of the fight by Freak, so they had no consistent DPS. 
and really the fights that had looked like they've been going in the opposing team's way are just turning all for Freak's team now. They have really good communication in the team fight, and it can come down to that. Even if you're under, the team fight with my head, with my chat head. No, it's actually really good communication <laughs> in that there was a rumble out where everybody knew that is the uh, the right. international yeah. uh, word for let's yeah. let's, let's initiate. Yeah, my, my old timing was like, did Derek stun someone? Did Derek s- okay, Derek stun someone. Let's, let's hit three people, right? Because you yeah. can aim it however you want. You can guarantee hit the first target, and then as long as there's a second one. And I drew it like right along the retreat path, right down here. So they got really, really screwed up by that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and then Fiddle then basically couldn't do any of his damage. Most of Fiddle's damage in the team fight is obviously going to be uh, the cross storm. And if you get focused that early, maybe a positioning mistake on Fiddle as well. He shouldn't have been available. Yeah, but he got caught basically. But basically, they were waiting for most of the team to come from the upper a- entrance to the forest. While um, Rumble came from the south. Yep. And that Rumble ultimately just screwed everything up there. So that was well done there. Pushing on to this mid turret. Caitlyn's farm. Hmm. She does a lot of damage. This second BF, so plus both those two. Nice. Looks like they lose that. I'm going to go for that. Wow. It's been points. I've actually taken kind of a long way around, but it's a safer way around. It's down. Oh, wait, yeah, we have to be aware of, of Baron. Because Baron's, no, Baron's ward's gone. And you can actually. We can't leave Baron alone with that ward. I believe you can do it right now. If you force a fight. We've got to fiddle. Like, unless we That's can, true, we yes. need to get the positioning. Yeah. Oh, we're going to bait right here. Okay, this is smart. I like this. We if they know that we're going to get Crow then Annie Tibbers. I'm going to actually sit towards the back. Mm. Um, like we should, we should never be in the same position because my ult is that much range, right? Yeah, there yeah. could be a team fight there, and I'm part of it. So I'm gonna always be in the far back. My auras have good range. You can see that Tarek has the Aegis aura. Mm. Uh, of course, his own as well. But Dead is out of the Tarek already had an Aegis, so now she gave him another one. Ooh, there's the enemy ward right now. Very nice. Wow, oh. Oh. beating them all, and quite not quite in range actually. If and Annie had chosen to go down, she would have been dead. So that was a good plan. Her there's a little bit of a jumpy bird. Jumpy Bird has a name, I'm sure, but he's going to be Jumpy Bird for now. Darkwind, there you go. So Jumpy Bird doing good damage there and uh, silencing two or three of Team Blue, so they they couldn't initiate at this point. Pantheon still defending top lane, and ooh, Freak needs to be a little bit careful here, not taking his hand off his, mou- uh, his mouse quite <laughs> so much. There's a clairvoyance, but uh, yeah, Anivia stops over the wall, and I don't think that the enemy team is going to invade the force at this point. That blue obviously going to go to Anivia, who can just channel her out as long as she wants to do this. That's nice. Oh, by the way, if you ever worried about stealing um, uh, a, a golem or anything, look at the ex- look. So, can I remember you could ever possibly do? You know, if you're like able to stack fit a mirror, if you have wriggles, turn backwards and press S. Just, just like right yeah. click there and S, and then you will not auto acquire, and you're good. So, F Y. You have to hold it or just once. Just press once. So, actually, holding it is different. So, so there are two states. There are stop and hold position. Hold position means you won't move, but you will attack things. Stop means you won't move and you won't attack things. If you hold S, it's hold position. And if you press S, it's of course stop. Oh, Fiddle going in with the crossroom right now, and there's the pump there, and dropping the center by the um, Rumble Ultimate, beautifully predicting where he would land, blowing him in absolutely no time, and Pantheon dying too. That is a dr- Baron picked up for Team Blue and a so double they got, kill. They, got the they actually there. picked up Baron. Wow, beautifully done then. Still not worth like, it. Almost but like having Zayn in the house. Kind of, yes. <laughs> wow. And nice. Ani actually using all her burst on. Uh, Freak, but because he chose to go super tanky, that was not enough to blow him up. That yeah, was nice. Yeah, I, I flashed like a land Q and Electro Harpoon just to pick up the anti kill. We know that because we have two dead, the the, the more odds we can get, like, because the thing is, right, if it's 5v3, 5v3 is a little bit difficult. 2v0 is not. If we trade 3 for 3, we get their base. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I know Annie will die if I if I flash because I will land Electro Harpoon. I'm, I'm not bad Ooh. enough that I'll miss the skill shot. I might die because I'm bad, but, like, I, I will at least land the skill shot. So I was like, okay, I can trade myself for an anti kill. And, um, and this so is the, the right play, I believe, right now. So yeah. Two of them are going for the Nexus turrets, but I don't think that's the right thing to do. You should just take the safe advantage, the advantage uh, that you know you can get for sure, and take no, the Nexus. They, they, they oh, actually, a Nexus, uh, two turrets and Nexus are actually pretty much as easy to kill as an inhibitor. If I had shown up there, we would have got the Nexus. That was actually my fault. Mm-hmm. Um, to not go for that. We still might Hunt get this. Back right I have now. my ult though, so I'm going to like find a position where I can cast it as soon as someone gets stunned, and just go for it. So I'm going to wait to see who's initiating. Um, not quite ready for it. Bam, one, two, three. three. Yeah. And that element was behind the fight, actually, didn't actually I'm still minions. I yes, wanted gold. Kidding minions is exactly what you should do in a team fight situation like that. <laughs> and wow, Team Purple can actually turn this around, and maybe they could have had the, the inip. If everybody went back to the inip, that would have been a safe I went for Nexus. We would have had Nexus. Because the thing is, I did enough damage to the turret plus. Two plus turrets inhibitor. for sure, but Nexus as well. I'm well, not here's sure. the thing, right? Like, this Nexus is at half health. Mm. We did this much damage. Might. Right, like that's that's way more health than Nexus has. So that was actually a mistake to not go for the end. We should have. I, I should have. Um, so that was that's another mistake to make. Generally speaking, 
Um, the inhibitors is a safe advantage, but these turrets don't respawn. Here's the thing, right? This turret, each individual turret is weaker than this individual turret. Like, it actually has less health. So if you can kill a turret plus an inhib, you can kill a turret plus a turret. And having a nexus with no turrets is much more important because now they must... Because mm. if these turrets are up, right. like, they can leave an inhib down and the turrets can defend that inhib. Right? These turrets down, they forcibly must send someone to defend every single mini-wave or they will lose their base. Just flat out period will happen. Um, so... Uh, those those turrets are the most important thing. They're actually worth more than an inhib because they're an automatic inhib every time you kill one. Basically, right. as, as that as that logic goes. So, um, mistake of me not to go for that. I really didn't. Uh, basically, I thought like if they're respawning soon enough, right? If, if you if you're fighting here and you get caught, right? You're you're caught right by their their fountain and they respawn and they kill you. If you get caught here, you just run down and you're fine. Yeah. If you have a minion wave coming by, like they're farther from the nexus, like, it's all that fun stuff. Um, but as it turns out, they're actually responding um, slower than I anticipated. That was just my mistake that I realized that. Could have checked and that I, as well. I know exactly, right? Like, I should have just checked that. Um, so I was assuming they'd be back sooner than they were. It's alright, we said no ghosting. No ghosting, yeah. yes. Don't it, stop ghosting on ghost screen. Not current information. Yes, don't ghost <laughs> information you're supposed to have. Stop looking at the minimap. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to be very hard for you three. <laughs> so Freak, Freak could go for somewhat of a split push here, but it looks like his team may need him in a few oh, seconds. Oh, his team gets caught they by Pantheon from behind. Coming from behind. Yeah, but they are going to be able to dazzle, focus him out here. The thing is, is he kind of wants these cooldowns, wow. but I don't know if he knew that was going to happen. I thought he'd think, yeah, a little more time. The stun down, uh, shutting down Fiddle as well. Here comes Andy to drop just onto Caitlyn. Now, she thinks that was a lot of the damage, but really, here's where the damage is coming from, is uh, a a Nibia... And Udir coming out here with tons of Tiger Stance, Phoenix, and the damage there again, getting the critical mag magic damage down from Anivia's side. I'm just going to take out this right, inhibitor. Going to go ahead and move on to the Nexus a little bit this with some damage. Soraka's really not going to be able to silence all too much. And uh, huge damage on the court. You just one quick hit from the Q of Anivia. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where, like, they have a very defensible Nexus. Look, we can go over here, and this, this is a free hit here. I'm going to have to try to defend that. She actually flashes, so it's egged, but that's fine. So yeah, now the inhibitors are down, because again, this is the case where they're actually closer to the base to defend themselves. Uh, here I can kind of dive in here. Now we have a three, and we're good. So. Bam! GG. GG's! Right. Slash J. You gotta always do the joke when you, land, when you end. Falling <laughs> off. Gotta kick that back up. <laughs> and if you recall at the right time, yeah, base, base. You, you go after the base in time. Yeah, so I made it to the fountain. Well done, sir. I ended that game properly. That is the I probably have like 800 thing. whispers right now. It's going to be interesting. So I actually ended up 4, 9, and 12. So I was, um, what, is like 1, 7, and 1. So I ended up going like 3, 2, and 11 since. So I started playing better, you know, later on in the game. Um, I mean, Pantheon and Fiddle crushed my face in. Yes. Like, no joke to that. Um, at least I caught up. I mean, it, this was still a fairly bad score. Um, I mean, you, you wouldn't call Terra's score bad. I mean, mine is worse, yeah. certainly. Three more kills, five more deaths. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, um... Yep. So, up, oh, I'm out. So that was an interesting game of me failing pretty hard, and now we're going to go ahead and host up a game on uh, Terra Realm back up. <laughs> and uh, the veins are still banned, though, so... All six of them. That is a lot of veins there.